Um, so I want to start with the October tracks. Typically this time of year, uh, we start to see areas of low pressure developing in the Western Caribbean as well as it off to the east of the Bahamas. That's where the low areas of low pressure tend to start and maybe take on tropical characteristics throughout the month of October. And at this point, we do actually have an area of low pressure just off to the east of the Bahamas. This low has a low potential for taking on tropical characteristics over the next five days. But the good news is it's staying well off to the east of central Florida and does look like it's going to be staying away from the United States. Bermuda might have a little bit of an issue with some higher winds and some heavy rain, but at this point, this is a low possibility that this will develop into a tropical system and the models all consistent in this trek as well, keeping uh, this area of low pressure away from the United States and a look here all the way across the Atlantic toward Ireland. What was left over of Ophelia definitely taking its toll on Ireland with some high wind and heavy rain and unfortunately a few fatalities as that storm moved very quickly off to the northeast. Now a post tropical system and of course no threat to the United States. So other than that low pressure, what's left of Ophelia racing away to the northeast, there's really not a whole lot going on in the Atlantic down in the Caribbean and even over into the Gulf of Mexico. So things are OK for right now, but we do have until the end of November for the rest of hurricane season. So a little bit closer to home, we do have an approaching cold front that's going to increase the chance for rain across central Florida up to seven.